Me and Sam just working hard together, getting each other better and pushing each other every day. How cool is it? It's a, it, it, it's a blessing, man. I, a lot of people wish they was at where I'm at right now, and I'm just glad I'm here, and I just want to seize the opportunity. Thank you. Jalen, the defense uh, finished pretty good last year. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you're looking to keep that momentum going, starting with the defensive line. Uh, yeah. Your prospects for the line this year, what do you think? What you say? What you say your yeah. prospects for the defensive line this year. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, like I said, I told him, uh, I'm just trying to work hard and just be the best person I can be, the best player that I can be, so I can, you know, add value to the team. What's your rapport with uh, Coach Johnson? Coach Johnson, man, Coach Johnson the greatest, man. <laughs> he the GOAT. Uh, coach Johnson, he, he more than a football coach. You know, he, he a life coach. I, I can't even say he's my football coach. He's my life coach. And I feel like I wouldn't be as good as a player I am right now. I wouldn't even be as good as a person I am right now if, if he wasn't here. Now, mostly for you, Jalen, you'll be coming off the edge a lot, uh, looking to rush. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm doing anything Coach Johnson told me to do. He told me to get at 310, I'm at 310. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. So well, whatever, whatever it takes. Right? Yeah, whatever it takes, man. And that's how we all it is for Coach Johnson. If he wants us to do something, we go as hard as we can for him. There's always pressure on you guys. But does the defensive line group feel a little bit more pressure considering what you've got to replace from last year that graduated? Uh, yeah, I mean, we just all feel like we got pressure from ourselves to, you know, elevate our game to be a better player than we was last year. And we lost great players like Steve Miller. He was a he was a great leader. Rashad Frazier, they was great leaders. So, you know, it's always hard to replace great leaders. But, you know, we, we got to be just as good, if not better, or, you know, it's a fail. But I feel like that we all stepping up to the challenge. Who have been those leaders? Who do you who do you look to? Obviously, Adolphus certainly, and, and some others to lead the line this year. Right? Uh, Adolphus is a great leader, man. Any anytime me Sam, anybody mess up, you know he's the first one to tell you. Joey, they all great vocal leaders, and they um they they great teachers as well. You know, instead of you know just yelling at you, you know Adolphus or Joey that show you. Mm -hmm. So you know that just make everybody a better player when they do stuff like that. I think you're a Virginia guy, aren't you? Yeah. So uh, playing a, a team like Tech in the opener interests you that much more? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I played against some of my high school buddies that played for Virginia Tech. And it's just, you know, it's just another challenge. What's it going to be like under at Lane Stadium under the lights? It's going to be loud in there. <laughs> it's going to be loud. But, you know, it's our job to make them quiet. <laughs> That's all. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. Like I, like I said, I got a lot of friends, a lot of high, um, hometown friends, people I went to high school with. They play for Virginia Tech, and I still talk to them every day now. So it, yeah, I can't. I'm, I'm a competitor. I can't wait to beat my friends. But you know, we got to work hard. You know, practice good every day to accomplish that.